So in this video, we're going to look at the basic skills required to strip PVC, PVC twin and CPC cables. I know I've probably given the uh, title to this video, stripping of twin and earth cables. That's generally the slang term used on site. And from our previous video, you can see that we're going to be calling it PVC, PVC twin and CPC cables. I would like this presentation to be done in the workshop, but unfortunately I cannot gain access to it. So I'm going to strip these cables here on this video presentation in the classroom. When we do it, we'll be doing it from the workshop itself. So your first opportunity to work with PVC, PVC twin and CPC cables are cables will be loose and not fixed to the fabric of the building or to a wooden board and we're just going to practice stripping back the outside PVC sheathing which is grey and offering mechanical protection to the cables and then we're going to strip and terminate the conductors to a lecturer's required length. We're not entering an accessory at this stage, we're just practicing the skills required to terminate the ends of the conductors. At approximately 150 mil down from the end of the cable, we're going to take our knife and we're going to score around the outside PVC, which is offering mechanical protection, the grey sheathing itself. So we're going to score around that. That score, not saw. What we don't want to do is press too hard with the knife and go through and damage the insulation around the conductor. So we just want to score the outside mechanical protection. So I take my knife and I'm going to score around the sides and back of the cable. So I've scored all the way around. Okay, next I turn it and I'm going to take my side cutters. Okay, I'm going to take my side cutters and I'm going to split just off centre. I'm going to split straight down the cable itself. I'm probably going to make this look incredibly easy, but unfortunately when you find uh, you're practicing the workshop, this bit's the bit most people find the trickiest. So I take my side cutters and I'm going to split just off centre, straight down. Okay, and it means that I can just open it out and I can see a conductor in the centre there, which is bare and that is my circuit protective conductor. Next, I take my hands and I put my knuckles together, okay, and I'm just gonna pull and just see how I pull quite. So I'm holding onto the two conductors, the two conductors leaving the CPC in the center, and I'm just pull the two conductors. The longer it gets, the easier it will get to pull, and I'm gonna pull it down just short of the area of which I've scored. So the scored area there, I'm just a little bit short of it, okay, a fraction short of it. I take the outside mechanical protection, Put it to one side, on both sides, and I'm just going to pull that off. And hopefully, what we find is we've got a nice clean uh, cut around the actual cable itself, but I haven't gone and dug into the insulation around the conductors, in this case, blue for neutral and brown for line. And again, as previously in one of my videos, the white powder on here is French chalk allowing it to be easier to remove the outside mechanical protection. That French short prevents it from sticking one layer of PVC to the other layer of PVC. Next, what we're gonna do is terminate the ends. Again, this cable isn't going into anything, so you'll be terminating it at a desired length for your lecturer. So how far he wants you to terminate these conductors back will be due to what he suggests to you at the time of his demonstration. But I'm gonna show you the skills involved. So what we'll do is we'll take my knife again and about 20 mil down. I'm going to score a little harder this time round with the, the knife because I don't believe I can damage the conductor inside. I'm going to then take my side cutters just to pull that away. Okay, I didn't use any cutting action on there. And then I'm going to use my pliers to fold this over to make it a doubled over termination. So if I take my pliers, and in this case I've got approximately probably 40% here and 60% here of the conductors. The reason I've got a little bit less held within my pliers and I'm not 50-50, is that I'm gonna bend it around the circumference of the actual pliers itself. So as it goes around there, okay, we can see that we've added a bit to the conductor length and then we're gonna squeeze it up. So we're gonna squeeze that double termination over. Let's clear it off. Like so. And you can see we've bent it back now, hopefully perfectly on itself and pretty much eliminated any light that could pass through the conductor itself. Do the same on the other one, so about on the neutral conductor, about 20 millimeters down. I'm gonna score around with my knife. Take my side cutters, just pull away blue PVC insulation around the conductors. Take my pliers, approximately 40% of the conductor held in the pliers and probably 60% there because of how it bends against the pliers against the pliers, fold it back on itself. Like so. And then we've got two conductors double back on themselves, okay, and terminate at a desired length. 
um, compared to what your lecturer will require you to terminate and back out. Finally, we've got the CPC. CPC, as we've talked about in a previous video, comes with no PVC insulation on it. It's added at termination, so as such, we're terminating the conductors now. So we will add our green and yellow CPC. It should be, for practicing purposes, approximately the same length as the other insulating materials around our conductors for line and neutral, so the brown and blue PVC that's insulating these two conductors. It's been the neutral, it's been the line. So I've got it approximately the same length. So can we go with that one? And we're going to take it and we're going to terminate that one over as well. I'm just going to it back slightly. This time as it moves around a little bit, okay, it's more difficult to get it to fold uh, straight back on itself because obviously the PVC added sheath will move around. So I'll squeeze that one up. And we can see we've got approximately our three conductors, approximately the same length and approximately the same doubled over ends. And that would be an early task you're expected to do. Cable size we selected for this was one millimeter squared. It's likely to be used for one of our lighting circuits in the workshop. So I'm going to quickly repeat the process now for 2.5 millimeter squared uh, PVC, PVC twin and CPC cables. So probably now about, round about uh, 150 to 200 millimeters down the cable. I'm going to score not saw around the outside mechanical protection. I'm going to take my side cutters. I want to cut just off centre but dead straight down the cable. Off centre but dead straight down the cable. I'm going to separate my conductors, hold on to the two, uh, one line, one neutral, and I'm going to pull away at the conductors until they get long enough that they go nice and easy. So I'm rolling my knuckles together. Again, the white powder being French chalk, we can see it coming off. I'm going to pull down just short of the marked area, just short of where I've scored it. Move the outside PVC, like so, and that to one side. I'm going to double over my termination. It's probably slightly longer now. They're a bigger conductor size, so I'm going to be slightly bigger with my doubling over, so probably nearer 25 to 30 mil. Take my knife, score firmly round the line conductor, side cutters to remove, pliers. In this case, I'm going to have slightly less than half here, slightly more than half this side. Bend it around the circumference of the pliers and then squeeze them up. So when they're together, we try and eliminate any light passing through the conductors when they're squeezed up together. Repeat the process for the blue neutral. Score firmly, side cutters to remove. Pliers slightly less than half this side, slightly more than half that side. Fold up, terminate my conductors together, and then repeat the process for the circuit protective conductor. Strain it out, approximately the same length with the PVC that we're adding to identify the conductor. Pass it down. Just going to trim the end off on there, it's a little bit sharp, so I'll just trim the end off. Take my pliers and make my final doubled over connection. So exactly the same process, but this time using 2.5 millimeter squared cable in order to just make the terminations